Hi, my name is Chip Brown. I teach computer programming and Microsoft Office applications at Stevens Henniger College here in Utah. I also create practice tests for Microsoft Office application specialist certification tests. Today, we're going to learn how to filter records in a Microsoft Access table. Microsoft Access is a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation. I'm not affiliated with Microsoft Corporation. To learn how to filter records in a Microsoft Access table, you need to be familiar with the filter mechanism in on the Home tab. On the Home tab, and here in the Sort and Filter group, here is the filter command. In order to activate it, we need to open up a table. Let's open up Customers. Now you can see with the table open, the filter command is now available to us. In order to filter, you need to click on the field that you want to filter your data by. Let's click on job title. With the job title field selected, we can now click on the filter icon, or we can click on this down arrow in order to bring up the filter menu. I'll click on the filter icon. This is the filter menu. It represents all the data, the unique data, that is in this field. By default, all values are being represented. To uncheck the select all, we would then filter out every value, but if we want to have one or more values, we simply click on that particular value and then click OK. As you can see, Microsoft Access automatically filtered all the other records out, leaving the one that we checked. Now those records are still present, but they simply are not in our view. If you'd like, you can actually modify this by clicking on that same down arrow to bring up the filter option, and we can add another. And click OK, and it will give us that additional value in our filter. With that filter present, we can use the toggle filter to turn on or to turn off the filter turning it on and it returns, turning it off, it goes back to all values. This is how to filter records in a Microsoft Access table. The filter can be saved by clicking on the Save button here in the Quick Access toolbar and it will be saved with your table the next time you open it up. For more information and videos, visit me, Chip Brown, at chipbrown.com. That's brown with an E.